Yo, what's up world? I go by the name of Mike Strong and you are now tuned in to 20 Questions with Weezy. Let's go. What's going on? What's up, bro? What's happening? What's happening? Man, you know, still on my high, man. So high, we made man. that movie the other night. Look, man, I know, right? <laughs> it was crazy. That definitely was a movie. Definitely, definitely. Man, so for the people out there, man, introduce yourself, man. Tell them who you are. Well, I'm Mike Strong, uh, Fort Wayne resident, born and raised, you know. Uh, I mean, I went to Abbott, Black Hawk, Lakeside, Northside, you know. A whole lot, man. You know, on the school side, ran the streets. I was all throughout ACJC, did a 180, you know, and we can get into the details of that. But basically, uh, I done switched my life around, making good music, some uplifting and still relatable. And yeah, that's why we're here today, man. I've been making some good moves. That's what's up. Okay. I'm gonna move this pillow too. Okay. Feel? That's a blooper. That's right. <laughs> man, it's been a long time coming for this. Um, Absolutely. Because when I heard of you, man, it was like five, six years ago. Okay. And, and they were saying pop global music. Mm. I'm like, who is that? And I asked, I ain't really get to know. Okay. And I ain't know because I was doing moves and I was making some things happen and whatnot. And then. We finally got together about two years ago, and it was at LF Recording Studio. Okay, okay, history lesson, let them know. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, okay, you might strong, and I didn't know who you was, because I don't see you at parties, I don't see you out, and I'm okay, but you drop the music, and it's fire, you know what I mean? I'm okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, definitely fire, you got some bangers, because you've been working with everybody. Like you got you got a lot of collabs from a lot of people in in the local area. Yeah, definitely. Fort Wayne, you know what I mean. You even got a uh, Dizzy Wright. Yeah, yep. Um, in due time. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Well, like, okay, that was hard. That was definitely hard. Um, so then when I had and you approached me about a beat I had made, I was like, okay, you want a beat? I'm like, cool. We gonna sit down. We gonna chop it up. You went to the website though. <laughs> I thought I was gonna make one in person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was kind of offended. My bad, man. But, My bad. But it was all good, because I liked the beat anyway. I mean, I'm glad you liked the beat. And then we didn't record that day, but you had purchased the beat. Right. And I think that's what had started the relationship right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, yeah. He hard. So I'm glad I had finally got to meet you. Yeah, likewise, man. Yeah. Likewise. So what side of town did you grow up on, man? I grew up on the south also, or southeast, to be correct. South and the east side, yeah, because, okay. uh, like I said, I went to Abbott, so elementary years, I was over off of Butler and Lafayette. Okay. Then I moved over on Wayne Street at my grandma crib, so okay. I went to Lakeside. Okay. Then I ended up out northeast for a year to go to uh, Blackhawk, mm. then back to my grandma's, and I spent the rest of my teenage years from, like, uh, 13, 14 uh, to about 18 over on the east side. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I know a shout lot of people. Shout out to the east side. Shout out to the east side. Yeah, definitely, you know definitely. Mean? It's All the guys, the city, strong in the city. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so I've been around. I've been yeah, around for definitely, sure. Definitely around. Um, how old are you, man? I'm 31. Just turned 31. That's what's yeah, up. you know, cause we made that movie man, for the man. birthday party hey, Friday man. night. Hey, man, that movie, <laughs> that movie was crazy. That was that epic, was man. Different. That was something different. You should have been there. If you wasn't there, man, you missing out. You missed out. We, we definitely gonna catch you at the next one. We gonna catch you at the next one for sure. Um, so man, how did? How did you get into music, man? What 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 led you into becoming an artist? Well, uh, I mean, I grew up in a musical household. I mean, not from a creative standpoint, but just from being fans and consumers. So my pops, he was big on music. You know, he loved West Coast. So it was a lot of like uh, DJ Quick. I think that was okay. his favorite from the West Coast. Yeah. Uh, Death Row and all of that to the point I'm running around the crib with the bandana around my head like pop you know all right all right, all right. And, and the pampers all that you know i don't think no, i don't think i was in diapers you know i was i was on point i wasn't behind and then right, running around right right, right. This is... <laughs> like five with a diaper roll but uh it started with that and then he also like tribe called quest so it was kind of a mix of different regions with the music or whatever so that really kicked it off to the point i started freestyling in school okay playing around and then uh that led to like rapping on Cassette tapes. I'm really giving away Dang, my age. Man. Yeah, because we was doing you that. Know, the younger generation, they don't, they don't even know what I'm talking about. They don't know about the cassette tapes. I sound like I mean? a dinosaur that was, right now. Whoa. That's kind of embarrassing. It's all good. We're going to edit though. this. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
give us some wisdom. But uh, but yeah, yeah that really kicked it off, man. I'll say okay. just my upbringing. And then I had a um, my cousin Teeter. He lived in uh, Battle Creek, Michigan. He's still there, and he had a studio in my aunt's basement. So yeah. whenever I went to record, I would hear him making beats and recording some of his right. friends. So I just was around it early, and okay. that sparked the interest. Yeah, it all started in the basement. Got to start in the basement. Literally, you know, the best, from the that's ground up. the best music is, you know what I mean, from the basement. Facts, uh, facts. <laughs> man, so years later, um, you, I heard you dropping the albums. No, nah, not even that. You dropped the music video. What was it? It was shot by... Miles Myers. Oh, okay. You you talking about offline? Yeah. Offline. Yeah, yeah. We did that one in Cali. Yeah, that was that was hard. What? Um, Thank you. What What made you go all the way out to Cali and shoot music? Like, what was your mindset? So, uh, I took years off of music. I always created, but I wasn't recording. But in 2019, you know, that's the same year I reached out to Dizzy and got the feature, okay. and I was just like, I need to come out with a bang because. People locally knew that I did music, right. but I really didn't stay consistent enough to get an audience or a big right. following. So I'm right. like, I need to make a statement. Okay. So, you know, I was in a good spot financially. You know, I seen Miles work. I reached out and uh, my vision was to just make Offline a single and yeah. really give it that that big that look, push. that mainstream yeah. look. Yeah, so, Miles my huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The videos. I, I, I don't even think he's doing them now, like, because he's oh, doing man. stuff with Cali Muscle. Oh, so yeah. he plugged in with that, okay. but yeah. um, at the time he was still in Fort Wayne, but he was relocating. So long story short, I just felt like the song had commercial appeal. Mm -hmm. You know, I could get you know the mansion, the scenery, women, and everything to make it look larger than life. So mm -hmm. that was my whole point behind that is just to try to give it a legit look to put me up there with the big dogs early on. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one thing, I, one jewel I drop is mm -hmm. if you're an upcoming artist, you don't want to make moves like that unless you could sustain it you know what right. i'm saying because right. it's like the quality of my music and everything's maintained the same but i haven't had a big budget video like right. that since right. okay. so right. from the outside looking in it's like you fell off but it's right. like no right. i ain't no, fall I off ain't it's fall just off. i put gotta, so much into that into that and then you gotta prepare for the next facts you know yeah because I mean? you always gotta have a that second that second next best yeah or that or that next one because it's like once you raise the bar that's your new level you right. can't go exactly. under you can't take steps back yeah but that was that was my whole plan behind it man just try to shoot for the stars early on okay yeah get some momentum going okay cool 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 so reputation in fort wayne man so so i was going through the albums because you got about five albums though and yep five. yep i do yep so, and the ep yep. yeah so you got Everyone from Stu Hustler. Yep, you know that's my man. bro. Shout out Stu. Uh, man, to just about everybody. The only person I didn't see on there was Scoop. Okay. And that's in due time. I already know that's coming. Yeah, yeah, because you know we, I mean? yeah, we've been talking. We've like, been talking. Yeah. We just got to link and make it happen. Right, exactly. For sure. Shout out Scoop too. But you've been getting features from everybody. Uh, now, how did you, how you make that happen? Because a lot of people can't get that. They ain't got access. To that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they I mean. Access. Like I said, I, I've been off the music scene uh, prior to these past three years, but I've been around because I'm born and raised. Like I said, all sides of town. You know, I ran the streets. I went through that wave, and I ain't never had no bad blood with nobody. You know, like I was always the one. Like if you got a problem with somebody, I'm with. It's like, oh, but I'm cool with Mikey though. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So uh, just a good face card, I would say, man. Like I do good business. I ain't never burned no bridge or did nobody dirty. So I've never had no reason for somebody to shun me when it came to that for right. real you know you know, how hard it is? you know how hard it is to keep a good face call when you in the streets you know what I mean? that's, yeah that's hard you know what i mean it's, it's definitely hard i know yeah <laughs> facts me too call, but man yeah but but it's crazy uh because like one wrong move or one wrong slip up you know what i mean and that's it no you definitely I mean? definitely man um so you you started off with your album Affirm, Affirmation. Affirmation, yeah. Affirmation, yeah. I, I couldn't never say it right. I swear, <laughs> I, I, swear I couldn't never say it right. Affirmation, you know what I mean? You got some bangers on there. Um, Thank you. What, uh, what led into the album? So, that's a good question. So, Affirmation was basically a statement, you know, because you hear the term words of affirmation, you know what I'm saying? Like positive 
in, enforcing or influencing words and things that we recite to kind of, you know, boost our self-esteem, our confidence yeah. in our direction. Let's get that energy going. Exactly. So with me, the project was my affirmation. It's like me making a statement that I'm going to get everything I'm after. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I'm here to stay. And it was basically like a vision board for my music. Okay. Kind of painting the picture of everything that I, or not everything, but where I was at at the time to showcase my talent, you know. Right. And that's a lot right. of the tracks on there reflected that. Like, in due time, that's like an affirmation. I'm going to get it in due time. Yeah. You know, you stopping you, like, you in your way. So it was motivational uh, and just a good showcase of me as a person, too, mm. and an artist. Okay, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Um, so, as an artist, man, can you, like, let them know inside about your grind? You know what I mean? Because mm. I know, like, coming from Fort Wayne. Yeah. Fort Wayne, at the time, we was really grinding. It wasn't no music scene, you know what I'm right. saying? It wasn't no music scene. So how did you make your way and become who you are? Man, okay, so with that, like I said, I'm 31. So in my teens is when I really started ramping it up, trying to do more. So I'm going to take it back again, another uh -huh. moment that we might have to edit because I'm going to sound old. Yeah, but MySpace, I'm old. you know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that ain't old, Coach. Oh, oh. I ain't, I ain't lie that, that, that is old. That is, though. I was on MySpace, too. But you know, because we've yeah, been doing yeah, it. Exactly, exactly. And I, yeah. So that's one thing I say, all, my love and my passion yeah. for it yeah. always kept me yeah. motivated. But Gotta have love and passion. So in the MySpace days, like, me and Saint, we started off as a rap group. Like, we was taking right. it serious, ULG. So when they right, had right, MySpace right. with the music, you had the charts. So we would, like, uh, put our songs up there and literally go to the library. Because, you know, internet wasn't right. too heavy in the crib. Right. So right. we go to the library and just, like, send a link out to everybody, you mm. know, just try to do the best we could to promote. Right. And we end up getting to, like, the top three of the yeah. state because, yeah. you know, they had ranks. So yeah. it's like I always hey, seen hey, enough. MySpace was really signing people. It yeah. Was people signed. It was getting, like, you it know, Soldier Boy. Yeah. It was yeah. getting so, people exposure. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so I think that really started because it was a glimpse of you could see I started seeing results of the grind. Right. You know, okay. so did it then, and then uh, as much as I took my breaks, it was it was it was always calling me. Yeah. So I couldn't stop. And uh, when I like I said, when I decided to do affirmations, like it, okay, this is for all the marbles. I'm about to just go in and do it. Mm. And uh, like I said, the feedback when I dropped that is it woke people up again. Like okay, Mike back on it. And right. from there, it just kept going up. I mean, mm. so you see what's going on now. Right. Like sometimes I question my age doing music, but with well, what I'm accomplishing. Two years ago. Yeah, I was only right. Two years ago. No, for real. So I mean, that you dropped that out. Yeah, it's like the fruits of the labor, and mm. so I write often. You know, I always got concepts and titles and uh, different ideas, and whenever I find something that fit, I just start to execute it once it line up. Mm. Okay, that's yeah. hard. That's dope. So now, fast forward two years, cause you've been off the scene for a little minute. Right. You've been off the scene for a little minute. You just dropped another album. Yeah, until November. Until November. Yep. Was that because of your birthday or was it because of the Scorpio season? You know, <laughs> Scorpio seasons. You know what I mean? You yeah. Get hot. You get hot. You know how y'all like to play. Um, yeah. <laughs> so how did that go about? Don't do it like that. Hey. So. Y'all uh, different. Y'all different. The concept of until November was basically like me giving my fans something to hold on to because ever since affirmation i've been dropping a project a year okay. I, i've done a solo and then i did a collab with saint so with this one i wanted to get them a glimpse of my growth you know i tried some stuff musically like i did a whole song in auto tune which yeah. i've never done yeah. uh i had so more features no nah, i'm not saying that that's why i use auto tune <laughs> but i don't know man it's it's cover some bases. Using auto -tune too, and they be singing. They i'm be trying singing. I'm trying. Okay. I write a lot of melodies, but I don't always think I'm the best one to execute them. Okay. Um, okay. But the project was supposed to be just to, uh, mainly to showcase growth, experiment, having fun, and really having okay. fun, because okay. I feel like a lot of people might take me too seriously, because mm. I'm always giving content and speaking to some of value. Mm. Uh, so I just wanted to have more fun with this one, and I knew it was a lot coming up. I got my party. You know, we just had that. Yeah. That was coming in November, my birthday. Right. So it's a significant month okay. overall. Okay. Yeah. Man. Okay. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I like I like how you thought of everything though know, for that. But, um, I try to be strategic for sure. Right. So you were saying, like, in your lyrics, you're not you're not a typical rapper. You're not the no. rapper that everybody 
you know what I mean, that make club music and go out and party to and whatnot. Right. What what made you gear towards the way you your style of rap? So, um, my earlier music, you know, as kids, we rap about a lot of stuff that we think is cool or we rhyme words, you know, just trying to, right. just doing it freestyle with your friends, having fun. So, it's like I was doing it just because, and then what made me become more aware of what I'm saying and when to put more of a thought into my lyrics was give, like changing my life. So when I was around like 2021, 20, I ended up making a 180. Like I gave my life to God, you know, became a Christian, accepted okay. Christ. And uh, that really shifted everything. Cause during that time I stopped doing music for a minute. Uh, and then I started writing more, you could say it was Christian rap, you know? Okay. Uh, okay. And during that time I stopped cussing, you know what I'm saying? I stopped drinking. I was celibate, bro. Like I was, you know, 100% on it. Um, and then I ended up, you know, backsliding. I had a child out of wedlock, my daughter, and, you know, kind of started moving around again. And even though I kind of went back into the lifestyle, I couldn't just jump out the window because I still got my conscience intact. And I still believe, obviously, not practicing as heavy as I did, but right, right, right. the content's still there. So that's my motivation to, like, do my music the way I do. And then as far as, like, style-wise, I like a little bit of everything, you know, musically. So I try to do music I like, make the music I like, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's like uh, off a of jazz beat, trap, uh, something more sample driven. I just love the sound of music and hip hop as a whole. So I showcase that. And I embrace being myself. It's all authentic. I don't want right. to come off like I'm forcing like them. Forcing them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because, man, in your time of absence, I ain't going to lie to you. I would get on Facebook mm -hmm. and you make a post be like, oh, such and such just hit me up. Another famous artist just hit me up. Oh, yeah, on the ground. Yeah, like. I'm like, <laughs> how they hitting them up, coach? I don't know. And I'm a producer. <laughs> I'm like, they ain't hitting me up. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, but, I can tell you about that. But too. I was like, man, like, you got a secret? What's your secret? Because they was hitting you, like, back to back. Right. Yeah, because I know what you talk about. Because right. I did, yeah. the, I did the baby mama challenge. I feel like that's what woke the okay. city up. Okay. You know, baby mama challenge. affirmation did its thing, but the baby mama uh, challenge ramped it up. So, okay. well, that was for Fujiano, you know, Gucci artist, yeah, Free yeah. Fool. Yeah. Um, and I tagged a bunch of people mm. and start sending it out, and somehow the game came across it. Mm. So the game commented mm. on it with a fire emoji. He slid in my DMs too, and it was like, okay. you know, you trying to work, Dang. and that was the first one. Right, and then. Uh, did you work with him or end up? So I reached out, but I'm going to tell you what it was. So y'all know during the COVID I era, I feel like it was a gang of artists that were trying to, uh, they wasn't getting shows because COVID was rampant. So they was hosting mixtapes and offering yeah. different things to get artists on. So when he hit me, he was talking about I could pay him at like 150, 300 or something. Mm. First, what's my budget and whatever. So I just threw out a number. But he's like, for 150, 300, I could get you on a mixtape. So it's basically like 30 artists on the mixtape, mm -hmm. and he hosted. And I'm like... So you think he was trying to finesse you? It, it was, but it wasn't. Because it's like, it's legit. It was legit somebody from his team. It was a verified page. But okay. it's like, the benefit of doing that wasn't worthwhile. You okay. know? Because if it's 30 artists, you're not vetting to see who good. You're just right. trying to take the yes. money and you get a yeah. slot. Okay. So I'm like, I need something more exclusive. Okay. So, so I mean... Yeah, they didn't die. It didn't die down a little bit know. since they back out moving around. But okay. yeah, it was it was like it wasn't worth it. It wasn't a finesse. It just wasn't worth it for me. It you know. Uh, and then the cash doll situation happened. She uh, she made a post talking about artists who working or whatever hit her up or okay. tag tagged them in the post. And right. my cousin and his girl tagged them tagged my name. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to her and uh, she was like, you know what you got? Let's see. So I sent her some stuff and it was a video of me doing uh matter of fact my song was sale shout out my guy sale yeah. i'm on that i was fresh i was clean i had the fedora with the tan and black uh -huh. so i recorded uh -huh. the video i'm like this would be good cause she got female following boy still so, said he's still not with him man i'm trying I, I got some good followers from it so i shot that to her she shared it on her story and it went up so that's what's up so to answer your question, people tag me or I try to tag artists and you just never know who will respond for real. Okay, so you ain't never genuinely just like reach out to a big Not person. direct, no. Not direct. No. Because even like my Mike Strong Mondays, I'll tag an artist if, if I rap on their beat. And then I like, now I'm sharing the sauce. Mm -hmm. i tag the producer. i find the engineer. i try to find the low-hanging fruit. Okay. And then it's like, okay, 
if the baby got 20 million followers, his engineer might have 5,000. Right. He more likely to check his messages right. and see what I'm doing. So they end up viewing my stuff and that kind of right. lead nah, them to coming nah, across it as well. That's a gem. Because, like, you know, everybody do want to get to that big artist. Facts. But, Facts. But even, even with me, I know, like, the secret to getting to y'all is through the engineer. I just seen a, uh, you a YouTube engineer. video. Somebody broke that down. You get through the engineer, you can, you can go a lot of places. Like, even with me, like, I know I know Mulatto engineer. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm real cool with her. You can plug good. me off camera. Hey, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you, coach. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, it's like, if you get to know the people that surround them, like, you know, people always say, man, how you meet with them? Or how you meet with them? Like, you got to you gotta meet with the little people. Right. Because they going to get you them. Maybe not as fast as you want, but, like, it's like your song in due time. It'll come in due time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You plant them seeds. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it's all about is planting the seed. Um, so you was, let's, let's go back. You were saying your daughter. Yes, yeah. Is is that one of your biggest motivations? You know what I mean? Of how you change your ways and become who you are now? Yeah, she, this this probably gonna be something else that's kind of uncommon. She is, but it's really more so self-improvement as a whole. Mm. So it's like one hand wash the other. Like they both come together. Cause it's like, if I'm being the best man I could be, right. the best, father you know you know the best believer in god and i'm better in myself everybody who is affiliated with me gonna benefit you know what i'm saying right, so right, right. and specifically for her she depends on me and her mom and you know the community we built so it's it's very vital for me to stay focused and stay on track for her because i'm the i'm the first man she loves you know right, i'm right. setting the standard for a lot for her so that does Indeed. mean a lot because i could talk all this stuff in my music all day but if she is out here wilding out how well did I do? You feel right, me? Right, like right. so yeah, that's very yeah. important. That's very important. You know. That's good. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Man, so moving forward, so you just you just dropped the album. Yep. You just dropped uh your party. You know what I mean? No, 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 you don't go back. <laughs> you don't go back. What what was it? Last year or the year before. Now you ain't a promoter. But you mm. had a crazy party. Yeah. I was not there. I was busy. Right. And I wish I was there. Man, that was hard. Explain to me how you how you coming up with that. Like, like what made you go into a party scene? You know, Cause you don't go out. Right. Cause you don't go out. I do a little bit, a little but bit. not like that. You yeah. yeah you I'll be I selective. Mean? I'm selective. Right. Selective. But you throw these parties and people come and hey, it'd be a great time. You know, Thank you, bro. I had a great time. I know that. Thank you. And you was working, but you still right. enjoyed yourself, still man. Enjoyed uh, so, basically, it's like, uh, I know I don't do much, and I use that to my advantage. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, like, watering down myself, and I'm not easily accessible. So, it's like, if I could create these opportunities to come kick it with me, and I put on, right. you know, something worthwhile, people to show up. Yeah. So, with Affirmation Unplugged, my whole idea was performing with a, a live band, okay. you know, because I That's haven't hard. seen nobody do that. He, yeah. Well, to my no disrespect, like See, I don't want to uh, forget yeah. nobody, yeah, yeah. but to my knowledge, I can't right. think of a rapper doing it with a live band here like that. Right. So Dreamers was open at the time. I yeah. felt like that was a nice lounge, a hey, smooth Dreamers, location. Dreamers was it? Yeah, rocking, <laughs> rocking. We need it back, man. We need something like man, that. We definitely need something. Like um, that. but yeah, so I wanted to do it with a live band. And I felt like that was a good venue. The business was set up good. And right. I'm like, okay, I got with AM at the time. Shout out AM mm-hmm. Too Funny. He mm-hmm. doing his thing to host. Um, I networked and got yeah, some, you know, different musicians. And I just knew it would be a good look because nobody really done anything with a live band here in town. Mm-hmm. Nobody else had the venue rapper wise. Right. And that's something else you about know, my. We don't, have, we don't have a venue for like rappers. Like, no. Like, no. No, we don't for real. Like, um, and one thing that they told me, like with the type of music I make with me not cussing or whatnot, that right. they felt like the type of audience I would attract would be safe. safe. And yeah, bro, so I just threw it together, set the date, made it happen, and it was it was epic, bro. Like, yeah. you know, I was in the whole suit, I got fitted. Man. Looking like Harlem yeah. Knights. Look, People came you, dressed to impress. He got a swag. He got swag, yo. Look, I, I ain't got to clean up right. Dressed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he's he nice, though. He's nice with it. You Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. And I love that everybody came out dressed up too. Like, yeah, it, it was it was real nice. 
It was far though. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't having no. <laughs> dog. He ain't having nowhere in Fort Wayne. Nowhere in Fort Wayne. We had to go to Roanoke. Yeah. Now if anybody lives in Fort Wayne or Indy, you know what I mean? They know Roanoke ain't. The outskirt. The, it's the outskirt. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean. But it was worthwhile though. You yeah. know, cause I like doing stuff different. Yeah. I think it, my whole yeah, everything's yeah. different. The, the women I like, different. Like right. clothes, how I shop, what I, just different. I embrace being unique, you know? And right. yeah, it's, I just got a, I feel like I got a bigger city mentality. Like I'm here, I love my city, but I'm always trying to see what's happening right. elsewhere right. and just bring it to the city, you know? And, mm -hmm. and that's part of my brand at this point, you right. know? Right. Oh yeah, you throwing these parties and whatnot. Let's have one. What's, what's next for Mike Strong? I'm glad you asked, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, um, another thing about until November, I'm shifting my approach, you know, from here on out. So, I did the projects, but, you know, the more I look at the industry and people's attention spans, singles are the way to go. That's from You man, feel me? Glad, man, I'm glad you hit on that. Cause, singles the way to go, dog. I swear, everybody hit me up and be like, man, it's too easy. I'm trying to do a mixtape. I'm trying to do an album. I'm, I'm like, bro, why? I'm not out there yet. To get an album. So it's like saying? ain't nobody really anticipating what you're right, doing like right. that. No offense. But right. a single is the best way right now in the world just to do about anything. Right. I mean, so touch on that coach. So uh so that's one of my uh approaches and plans. So next year, I don't plan on dropping no projects. No maybe an EP, maybe, maybe or maybe a joint project, but solo Mike Strong, I don't really see that because uh I could just do more. It's like, let's say you spend a couple thousand for your project right. versus a couple thousand for your song with marketing and promotion. Mm. It's going to have more reach and it could do more for your career mm. than uh, an album. And we got examples. Look at Glow Rilla. Man. F and F. Man, that's, that's one song. Right there. One song. One song. But Who else? You man. thought I was feeling you? Man. You were yeah. much. <laughs> look, hey, hey, look. Bro. Ice Spice, one song. Hey, I ain't going to lie. The women taking over right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of a male women, reference. Man, yo, the women is taking over. Yeah, dog. You know what? No, he been around for a minute. And he had a following. I was gonna say, uh, who else from Memphis? Finesse two times. Oh yeah. The uh, yeah, back end. Hard. It's cool, yeah. and they do it. It's a yeah, problem. I, I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. got a couple, but he was doing music yeah, before. But long story before, short, right? it's the one song that we know from the person right. that take him to the next level. So exactly. singles next year. Uh, I do got a project dropping. Uh, next month with Saint, uh, it's okay. called Coliseum. So this is exclusive. This is the first right. time this has been announced. So okay. it's exclusive that's for you. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, that's what's project up. done. We just got a couple things to wrap up, but that should be here. So uh, singles next year, more shows, and I'm gonna start moving around, just traveling. Cool. Because yeah, I think yeah, uh, I'm doing yeah, so much yeah. in Fort Wayne. I love my city. I'm getting so much support, but it's like I got to make sure I'm elevating. You know what I'm saying? So traveling for shows, yeah. pushing singles, and uh. Just networking, seeing what other opportunities I can create for myself. Right. Okay. Cool. Yep. Man. So, so it was another thing, man. Saw you on the news, coach. Saw you on the news. I was on the news. On the highlight reel at that. That was Highlight me. reel. Highlight right. zone. Highlight right. zone. Yep. Highlight zone. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. man. Look. <laughs> hey. I was like, how he get that? Got to know somebody. Because I ain't got that. Man. How in the world you get on the highlight zone, bro? And you made the song. You made I, a song did. I did. I did. I did. How that come about? Cause a lot of people don't get the opportunity from from here. No, you ain't lying. That's right. that's the that's the first people. time it's ever been done. Yeah, like in that's the city. crazy. Yeah, that's a blessing. Um, Man. so I can give you the story. Um, it's a festival that I performed at uh this year called the Middleways Festival. I was supposed to do it in uh Heard of that. 2020, yeah. but COVID threw things off. Yeah, so yeah. they do it every year. Do it yeah, every year. excuse me. Yep, they do. So what happened? Uh. Uh, when I was uh, in the process of promoting Middle Waves, they um, had something lined up with Wayne 15 to shoot an interview slash performance with a couple acts okay. uh, to help promote it. And they right. aired it on like a weekend special. So they reached out to me and the film crew that came, it was a guy named Lou, shout out to Lou, shout at Wayne 15 and uh, another right. cameraman. And right. I shot the interview. I did my performance at uh, flashbacks at the time, okay. and that was that. Didn't hear nothing. Didn't know nothing. Right, and that was all right. for Middleway. So fast forward months later, I get an email from Lou like, "Hey, you know it's Lou, I'm the uh, project program uh, manager at Wayne 15, and I got an idea." So he pitched the idea of having like a hip hop 
rap commercial mm. to promote the Highlight Zone. Oh, that's and cool. he said it'll air on every it'll air every Friday, the extended version, and then also it'll air as a commercial every that's day nice. that's throughout nice. the whole football season. So I'm blown away. I'm like, oh man, this yeah. is wild. Yeah. So from there, I uh, created the song and it happened. So to answer your question, they reached out, all from Middle Waves. So it's like Middle Waves connected me with him, introduced us, he followed up, and now we locked in. That's and I'm gonna be doing the basketball season. Oh, that's what it's so it's going up, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's what's up. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a blessing. I'm about that's to get that uh, I'm about to get that endorsement. Man, hey, <laughs> boy, you get that endorsement. It's yeah, over. We out of here. For real, for real. <laughs> nah, that's what's up, though, man. For real. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man, because I know a lot of artists would like to be in that type of position. I mean, they getting heard every Friday. Yeah, it, on a commercial, it's channel, different too. You know what I mean? So many people come up to me like, yeah. from different walks of life. It's like, hey, right. have I seen you before? You do the highlights on rap. It's yeah. it's good exposure. That's what's up. I couldn't that's have paid for that. Man, right. And everybody that's doing music or the artists, they need that exposure. And that's Man, it's crazy. mandatory. Yeah, it's definitely mandatory. Man, so so you got some songs coming up. You got that? You said you traveling, man. Like, yeah. where would you? Where would you want to travel to, and who would you want to work with? You know what I mean? You working? Ooh. You plan on working with anybody big? Uh, plan? Yeah. Shoot, I think the question is, can I afford anybody big? Mm. <laughs> uh, That's the question. So where I want to travel to? I think. I think I want to go back to LA to try to network because that's just where the entertainment industry is. Okay. So that'll be mainly the network. As far as collab, if I could collab with somebody. Now, look, I'm going to ask you this. So you mean like somebody I feel is attainable or like shooting for the stars? No, nah, shooting for the stars. Okay, shooting. you're right. Why well, lowball? Shooting for the stars. Um, I feel like a feature with Cole would be dope Okay. because I could connect with his fan base. But I'm going to be all the way real. I'm going to just cut to the chase. Drake, like it's been proven fact <laughs> statistically <laughs> of course. how much a Drake feature could of course, uh, shoot, yeah. rocket your career, yeah. you know? Change your so, life. Career. And it's like, I feel like once I get in front of the right people, it's over with yeah, for me. Totally, yeah. So I'll say Drake, like, yeah. that's going to cut to the chase. Yeah, and that's and that's for anybody. Yeah. Like, like I'm going to play the game. In this industry, you know what I mean? It ain't about what you know. It's really about who you know. If yeah. You can get around the right people at the right time and just wait your time. Yeah. I'm going to share a powerful quote. It said, who you know gets you there, but what you know keeps you there. Mm, that's hard. I ain't heard that. Yeah, bro. Think about it, because you can Tell meet the right... Who you know gets you there, what you know keeps you there. Because mm. you could get the opportunity, but if you're not prepared or you ain't got the skill set to maintain or take advantage of it, you drop the ball. Mm. You know? Because yeah. think about it. Let's that's say somebody... That's always say, always be ready. Yeah, so, so you ain't got to get ready. ready. All right, all right. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, let's yeah. say you know Coach K and P, so you can go to QC... You know, right. so you get introduced, exactly. but you ain't artistically, you ain't there. Shit. Or you ain't got no catalog. It's like, Dang. shoot, yeah. you know, you Dang. ain't got it. Yeah, you ain't got it. You man. got the plug, you ain't got the you ain't got the energy. Right. You from the bag. <laughs> yeah. Woo, dang. Yeah, that's yeah, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah, that was a that's a real one, bro. So yeah. that's why I try to stay on it. Try to stay sharp. That's what's up. Yeah, and I definitely understand and feel you on that. You got you gotta stay sharp. Ten toes always. Absolutely. Cause at any given time, especially if you're traveling, you traveling to like L. A. or Atlanta or Houston. You know what I mean? You may you don't know who you gonna run into. Yeah. And that and then that split second, they could change your life. That's a fact, bro. And boom, man, shoot, that's powerful right there. Yeah. So. You got all that going for you, man. Oh, man, what's what's all your socials, man? Because I know you ain't a social media person. I'm trying to drag that out of you. you know what I'm, I be, I'm pretty active. I be doing yeah, a little man. bit. <laughs> you, you a little active. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Mike Shaw Mondays, oh, you know, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Check them out. They hot. M-I-C-S-T-R-O-N-G. All social medias. But, yeah, you got my Mike Strong Monday. Uh, I'm more consistent on the gram with that. I feel like on Facebook. That's more friends and family for real. So that's just keeping people in the loop. But on the gram is where right. I really see a, a growth, an right. increase in my, of my career. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. So y'all can follow me on all social medias at Mike Strong. Uh, I'm on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, IG, uh, YouTube, okay. all uh, yeah. major streaming outlets. I'm there. Right. 
And you know, just to touch on too with the whole traveling, I am actually going to Atlanta. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know when this will be airing, but yeah, Tuesday. I'm headed out there for a couple of days to record, okay. have a photo shoot, and like you said, try to see who I could bump into because right, I right, feel like right. I'm ready. Right, you ready? Yeah. All these years. It has been right, years, that, man. Yeah, years, okay. That's what's up. No, it's always good. Yeah, man. You want to go, you, you don't want to rush out in there and then be like, dang, I went down there, but I wasn't ready. Facts, bro. No one, Facts. No one you, no one you can do what you do, but you, if you ain't ready, it's over. Yeah, man, that's so, embarrassing. Yeah, man, you this might is, not go back. You know, yeah, you might not go back. First impression is everything. Right. First impression is everything. So. I'm, I'm locked and loaded, bro. <laughs> I got a bunch of songs in the stash. Like, I got a session book with Patchwork, so I'm going mm. to the the you best going, quality going, studio I could find. You going to the top notch. You going straight to the top. Okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Patchwork ain't, ain't no play thing. Man, no, and I and I never been in a legit studio like that to that level. So mm. I still I still got a lot of growing to do, bro. Mm. You know, I'm I'm a student in the game as well. Right, man. Well, I definitely appreciate you, man, for coming on the show, bro. Thank you. you. Know I mean, this was inviting because we ain't never had a conversation like this. You know I mean, we we would always just run into each other, say what up. Yeah. You know what I mean. And then now, now we here. Yeah, we locked in, man. We locked in. It took seven years, but we got there. <laughs> no, nah, for real. We got there, coach. Yeah, it's going to be stuff happening off camera with Mike Strong and T. Weezy that exactly. man. Y'all going to be right. seeing real soon. Soon, soon, soon. Like end of the month soon. End of the month, yeah. Like at, the party just ended yeah, pictures right. up soon. Right, exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. I definitely appreciate you, man. Likewise, bro. Likewise. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.